It comes more than two months late, but some say just in the nick of time before the president leaves office. The consent decree that will govern the Baltimore Police Department's reforms is now finally hammered out. ABC 2 News investigative reporter Brian Kubler joins us now with details. Jamie, this summer the Department of Justice released a scathing report on the city police department detailing unconstitutional practices on policing in Baltimore City. A consent decree now follows a court-ordered agreement on what and when reforms will be made. It's an agreement now finally negotiated between the city and the feds. But there is reasonable cause to believe that BPD engages in a pattern or practice of conduct that violates the Constitution. Unconstitutional stops, excessive force, targeting of African Americans. Back in August, the Department of Justice lambasted the, the Baltimore Police Department for a pattern and practice of civil rights violations. Since then, the DOJ and the city have been hammering out a deal, court-ordered reform that will be timely and expensive. Negotiations Mayor Catherine Pugh said this morning were near complete. Mayor, how close are you? Very close. Should we expect it tomorrow? <laughs> there should be a media alert. If, if in fact that is the case, there'll be a media alert sometime today, am I correct? Yes, ma'am. If that is the case. It is the case. Today, just after 2.30, the mayor's office sent out this alert calling a news conference tomorrow to release the details of the agreement. Outgoing Attorney General Loretta Lynch, who just so happens to be in Baltimore for a previously scheduled event, and Mayor Pugh will announce the agreement and the court-ordered reforms to be applied to the Baltimore City Police Department. Among them will be many Many changes already underway. The body-worn camera program and better police training were already implemented last year, but expect this agreement to also force the department to track complaints, bad officers, and improve stop, search, and seizure protocols. These reforms will be mandated and expensive to the tune of tens of millions of dollars. To that end, Mayor Catherine Pugh has scheduled a special meeting of the city's spending panel at 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. Now, this agreement between Baltimore and the DOJ comes with just nine days left in President Obama's term. The concern by many was to try and enact this consent decree before both the president and the attorney general step aside for the incoming administration.